Commenter's question. I want one trillion United States dollars a month for the purpose of using the money to create businesses that get rid of homelessness, poverty, and oppression. Laundry shops, free washers, dryers, free gas stations, free apartments, free rent, free electric, and free water. Now, you tell me from your perspective: Is this the ego self or the real self? Just know that you are your ego. There is never any separation, but in our perception of our experience. But we can say that the ego is that part of you who experiences from a sense of separation, which in turn gives rise to your limited perception of your reality. So, are all these things you say you would do for others part of the ego? Not that it matters whether it's coming from the ego or your true natural self. What would really matter is what you, regardless of how you see you, with or without an ego, really want to do. As you know by now, there is no right and wrong action other than in our perception and in our limited understanding of our reality. In other words, it isn't exactly about right and wrong, but more about what you earnestly want for yourself, what you want to do, and that is always the point. And in this case, wanting one trillion dollars to do all the things you mention is what counts, because it is what you want, whether you see it coming from the ego. It's when we start judging ourselves and our actions that we start to fail. We will no longer be ourselves. We'll be acting differently because the world tells us that we're thinking and acting inappropriately. That we should be doing things differently, according to their perspectives and their understanding of reality, and what they view as good and bad, as right and wrong. Now, I'll tell you this: in your essence, you understand what others experience and why they choose to experience what they experience, and always without judgment. So, it's never a question of being right or wrong. It's never a question of not knowing how, of not having the necessary tools, a question of lack of necessity, and so forth. So, in your essence, you would not do those things you mentioned you would do, unless this is something that you're choosing to play as your role to be helpful to others while on here. But presently, you are focused as an individual having a human experience. Thus, you can't really compare yourself with you as your essence. Do and act as the human being that you are, for that is what you came here for—to have this experience as a human being, not as your essence.